The war on drugs has lasted over half a century, but evidence shows this war has failed. That was the view of Ron Hogg, Durham Police and Crime Commissioner, as he opened the debate to professionals from all over the country to discuss reforming existing drug policy. For tackling drugs, we need an evidence-based approach that is sensible and not soft on drugs. An approach which treat, treats addicts as someone who has an illness, puts them through medical processes, not through the criminal justice system. It is an approach which has worked in other countries and it's an approach which we need to adopt here. By getting addicts off drugs, we would cut crime because fewer people will take illegal drugs. Cut crime associated with drug addiction, people stealing in order to feed their habits enable recovering addicts to make a more positive contribution to society and disable organised crime groups by cutting off the market from where they make their income. Durham Constabulary's Chief Constable Mike Barton also openly voiced his concerns about the UK's current drug policy. I'm not advocating that we make drugs legal. We should be focusing on the best way to help these people recover from their addiction. This means that we can improve their life and their family's life chances, help them make a positive contribution to society and cut off the income streams of the truly bad people, the criminal drug dealers making money out of other people's misery. Addicts should be treated and supported into recovery. Their entrapment in criminal justice is a waste of police time a waste of the state's money and dissuades addicts from revealing themselves for treatment for fear of the criminal consequences. For the avoidance of doubt, we are going to hunt down the people who profit from this illegal trade and that means the dealers. Rob Etherson, a former addict who is in long-term abstinence-based recovery from addictions, is currently helping to shape policy and service design by working with officials to push forward the national debate. My name's Rob. I'm a person in long-term recovery from addictions. What that means is that I've not used drugs or alcohol or committed any crime for the best part of 10 years. When I first got into recovery 10 years ago, I went into a rehabilitation centre for the best part of 12 months. After that 12-month period, I had to go to court for a crime that I had committed during my addiction. The judge then sentenced me to a further 12 months in prison after the rehabilitation period. Now I understand the law is the law, and I get that. But I think my case, and the case of lots of people like me, provides strong evidence to support this debate. Summing up the event, Ron Hogg explained how the momentum needed to continue on reforming drug policy. Today's debate has marked a turning point in the British approach to drug policy. We need a change of direction. Along with the signatories today to our letter of support, I'm asking political leaders to, comment, to commit to reforming drug policy nationally in their manifestos for the 2015 general election. We're not calling for the full legalisation of controlled drugs, but we do want a drug policy which will work, one which is sensible and not soft on drugs. <laughs>